Recently, we all saw Synth they use the Max Giant Arrow to take down seven major defenses on a Max Town Hall 16. Well, today, we got one of the most creative attackers in the world who's going to show how OP the Giant Arrow is, and his isn't even maxed. Diamond bases don't have lots of weaknesses, but Rootkit's going to expose a massive weakness with the diamonds, because look at this. We have the giant arrow going across the base, and then behind it, we have the earthquakes coming in, weakening all the inferno towers. Then we have some zaps to get rid of the first inferno, some zaps to get rid of the second inferno, and then we're going to get rid of the third inferno here, and the poison tower as well. There it goes, one last lightning spell. That is borderline ridiculous. Now, it doesn't look like much value because keep in mind, we've invested the queen ability and uh, 11 spells to make it happen. But taking down the core of the base makes parthing through the rest of the attack so easy. And you'll see why here. It has also cost us the queen ability on top of that. But the queen's going to come in here and get the eagle artillery. In a, and in a couple of seconds, you'll see why the parthing is so good. Queen steps down. Now, it's worth noting, we'll click on the queen there. That is a level 12 giant arrow. This is not even max level. Rootkit has said to me that if he had a max level giant arrow, he would be able to save multiple spells every attack. So watch out once Rootkit gets that max level, uh, <laughs> once he gets the max level giant arrow, I'm not sure the game will ever recover. Also notice not bringing the, uh, not bringing the fox, just bringing the diggy fine with that and then we're gonna go warden ability here to deal with the defensive cc also to get through this scatter comp and get the blimp to the town hall this should take the town hall down and that's what the rage and freezer for the rage to take down the town hall we freeze the invis tower as well that all goes down hopefully we can get the invis tower down as well here beautifully done and look at this there's now not a lot of base left at all there's one scatter comp and a mo and a monolith sorry and we're going to come in with the Lalo. In reality, you probably could clear up this base with a lot of different troops, but the Lalo makes sense. It's quite quick and doesn't need the Warden ability as much as other armies. Although we are going to get the Warden aura here for our balloons on the bottom side of the screen. And we're going to two times through this. I mean, look at that. Just insane what you can do. And this is something you can look out for on the diamond bases yourself. Now, in terms of the maths, I don't have the maths for every single level. Uh, you're just going to have to test that out yourselves in FCs if you want to try it. But it looks so fun. And how satisfying is it to do an attack where you eliminate all three multi-infernos before the attack even starts? I've decided to take this video to the next level. And that includes going to Rootkit's clan. And what on earth is this army? I see five dragons, four dragon riders, a recall spell. There goes the giant arrow. It's done its thing. Now we're going to see the quakes on the top side because that's where the builder huts are. We get rid of the rage tower and the multi. The queen is still... Oh my word, we used the recall. We have a recall spell? Now we use the quake and the lightning spell on the bottom. I have no idea what's going on. I've never been so confused. All my years of watching Clash action have not prepared me for this attack. What on earth? Oh, so we're going to Hydra through 10 o'clock, and I'm guessing we're going to see the Recalled King and... Well, not Recalled King, but the King and Queen on the bottom side to Funnel. Let's see. Now, whilst we didn't get down the uh, the uh, Expos and the Ricochet Cannons on the top side, doesn't really matter. There's only a Tesla farm to protect up there. So the Blimp's coming out. we got the Queen on the bottom side. Still haven't deployed the King. We really need that Expo to go down. It does. Town Hall is going to go down. That looks like a safe blimp. Yep, lots of sneaky gobs. Brilliantly done. Now the king comes in. Unfortunately, we somehow pulled the defensive ice golem. I guess one of the sneaky gobs did that. We've got the rage spell in the core, but there's not many troops in the rage spell. Dragon uses it to kill the defensive uh, titan, though. We're hanging on to one uh, invis spell, king, and we have not deployed the royal champion. And ha, he's using a hero potion. Rootkit wants to triple me that badly. He's brought out the hero potion. I respect it. I respect it. Yet again, by the way, worth noting, that's a level 12 giant arrow. This is still not anywhere near maxed. He's still having to use more spells than he would need if it's maxed. And uh, this looks like a triple to me. 
As long as he can get the, uh, as long as he can get the defensive queen down, though. And this, uh, this multi's gonna be a problem. Uh, we've got three headhunters, though. Surely that's enough. And the invis. Headhunters stay inside the invis radius. Beautifully done by them. RC comes out of the invis. Her ability has gone off. The queen ability has gone off. Remember that. Oh, it's so close. What is the ice golem? Why do we have an ice golem still up? No way. This is as tense as it gets. Can we get through the rest of the base? <laughs> What's tanking? Is that the phoenix? The phoenix is tanking there. The rocket balloon is still in play. And we got the Wi-Fi bars. Did he force quit? Now's not the time to force quit, Rude Kit. This was worth waiting 20 seconds to see. Yeah, he definitely force quit. And uh, given he force quit, I think that's a generally a pretty good indication that he tripled. But I have no idea. Let's see when this uh, replay starts again. It's back in action. Oh my word. Oh, the rocket balloon got rid of the expo. The archer pulls some skellies, but that's fine. That's going to be a three star. GG's. Another triple with the giant arrow. I mean, look, it's not an overkill by any stretch of the imagination. But you can't tell me these attacks aren't awesome to watch. This time, a ring base. Let's see what Rootkit's got cooked up. And what on earth? A queen charge hog titan. Not exactly a usual comp. So we got the wall break down here. There's the quake. There's the queen ability. Zap, zap. Zap, zap. All right, that's pretty good value. I assume the healers are about to come down. There they go. Now, which way does he want the queen to go? Okay, that wall break is nice and low, so he wants to get the queen to go down here. So a monolith and two infernos for seven spells. And a queen ability. I don't know if that's worth it, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Unfortunately, we have to use a rage there. Uh, he's charging into my one max level expo. Oof. Feels bad, and I have no idea where this queen's going next. I think she comes back in. Yeah, she does. Beautiful. King on the bottom side. We have a Titan on the top side funneling. We have a Log Launcher and the Royal Champion. So is this going to be a hero kill squad almost? And then the Hogs are on the back end to clean up? I think it might be that. This King ability is going to go off any second, and I bet we pop the Warden ability with that. Yep. We get the King in the Warden ability. The Queen deals with the CC. Unfortunately, our RC's taken so much damage. Can our King get to the splash defenses? Yes, look at the, all those compact defenses that the King is annihilating here. Our Log Launcher opens. The RC is about to go down. The Diggy's actually helping. It stuns the Ricochet Cannon. And now we've got a bunch of Hogs. We've still got a lot of Headhunters. Our Queen does not have her ability. So we have to use the invis there. I'm surprised these headhunters are coming in so late. You're going to have to freeze the king, surely. No, it goes to freeze the ricochet cannon instead. Now these headhunters have to deal with this RC. They don't quite, but they get rid of a lot of her HP. This is insane. There is a good chance this works. This queen's got to fight the RC on her terms. We also want the healers to switch off the warden. This ricochet cannon's going to ricochet both heroes here. That's a problem. It's ricocheting both. It's doing so much damage to the queen. The hogs are coming in. Can the queen hang on? No, she can't. But one hog, one balloon. Oh, he got it. He actually got it? Are you serious? Yet again, not an overkill. I'm not tr here trying to tell you guys that by using the giant arrow, you'll wreck every base. But it's so much fun to watch, firstly. B, it allows you to show a bit more of your creative side. And C, as I keep saying in this video, let me go find where his queen is here. This is not a max giant arrow. So if this was max, he would have an extra two spells, I believe. So he's essentially swagging one or two spells every attack today. We're going to finish off the video with another ring, but as Rootkit has pointed out to me, ring bases are really hard to do creative attacks with, but that's not going to stop Rootkit here. Look, he's still coming up with something crazy. Okay, there's the giant arrow. We got the quakes. Here comes the lightning. 
Oh no. The Builder Huts are too OP. The Builder Huts are too OP. They kept that back end scatter alive. That was meant to go down. That's unfortunate. And the whole problem with this video is the idea of Rukit does not have a max giant arrow. So every time he's failing the giant arrow, he could have done it with maxed. Which is, he's playing with a handicap essentially. And that's obviously one of the downsides of the new hero equipment update. Is uh, we're not going to see a lot of gameplay of the, uh, the new abilities maxed out. Particularly because everyone currently is spending all of their uh, resources, all of their ores on the gauntlet. Which is understanding because the gauntlet's just the most overpowered thing I've ever seen. Aside from obviously the bag of frostmite spell. And as you can see it in action on the bottom here. That reduction of HP is just ridiculous. Barely taking any damage. Jeez, that, that's quite ridiculous. Unfortunately, the queen has gone down. We've got a bunch of super dragons around the base here. And uh, I don't think he's going to quite finish this one out with a triple. But still, really cool attacks that uh, Rootkit showed us today. Even though it's not going to end with a 3 star here. I love the creativity and I love the fact that this new update with the hero equipment, whilst we don't have it maxed, we get to see new creative ways to take down maxed bases. The real question is, would you like to see us do this video again once Rootkit has that maxed level arrow? Let us know down in the comments be below. And if you'd like to see more Rootkit attacks on the channel, I'll link it on the left. He did some of the sickest Skelly donut attacks I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, it's must watch.